When you're short on time but still want to paint something, ocean creatures are always a fun choice. Today I'm going to show you guys my method for painting this bumpy red starfish using watercolors. The supplies I have today are four paint colors, Holbein Scarlet Lake and Turquoise Blue, Daniel Smith Burnt Sienna, and Winsor & Newton White Gouache. You'll also need paper towel, a water jar, watercolor paper, and a watercolor brush. I've listed out all the specific supplies I use in the description below. To do the sketch, mark a little dot at the top center of your paper for the middle ray of the starfish, then two dots at the bottom. You can even create a tall skinny triangle to help with the symmetry of this shape. Then mark a dot on each side of the last two starfish rays. Next, connect each ray with a swooping curve. You can add circles and bumps inside of the starfish. I'm just drawing three little circles on each ray and then some more detailed bumps in the center of the body. Once you're happy with your sketch, you can begin the painting. You can approach the initial wash of color one of two ways. You can simply color it in with wet paint on dry paper or you can do wet and wet washes. I'm gonna start with wet and wet because I really like the way the paint spreads and diffuses on the paper with this effect. Using clean water, I paint all inside of the starfish, staying inside of my lines. Next, I take some of this Scarlet Lake color. You can use any cooler red that you have. Swirl it on the palette with a little bit of the water that's still in my brush, removing any excess water. You don't want it to be dripping at all. And paint this inside of the wet areas. Even in this very first application of paint, I try to put more concentrated color into the areas where there are darker shadows, especially the underside of the starfish and along the bottom of each bump. I even paint a stronger red over the top of that first watery layer, wet on wet. Be careful to control how much water is on your brush. Use only enough paint to dampen your brush to prevent blooms from forming on the wet paper. The paint is spreading out softly. I love this look of wet and wet. While the red layer is still wet, I mix up some turquoise blue with a little bit of that red that is still in my palette and drop this in with a gentle dabbing motion of the brush just on the underside of a couple of the bumps. This is helping introduce some color variety and it's the first step in helping our shapes look more three-dimensional. Now let this dry completely. You can use a heat tool if you wanna speed up the process. Once your starfish is dry, it's time to start adding wet on dry details. I'm using my burnt sienna color to paint darker shadows on the underside of each bump and ray. I only have enough water mixed in to make the paint flow easily for me. For seamless blending from dark to light, after laying down a dark brush stroke for the shadow, rinse a tiny bit of paint out and blot on your paper towel, then swipe with this slightly lighter color on your brush along the edge you just painted. I use the dark reddish brown color to increase the shadow tones and this is also a good opportunity to clean up any uneven edges from the first wash. I also paint an incomplete circle around the base of each bump to really boost the values and help the surface of the starfish look textured and 3D. I'm adding a little more water to my burnt sienna so I have more of a mid-tone and I use this slightly lighter color to add more details and texture across the top of the starfish. Be sure to allow your brush to skip over some lighter areas, like in the center of each bump, to preserve some light values in your painting. One common mistake is to just brush solid color all over, removing your bright highlights, and then the painting ends up looking monotone and flat. If your red dried a little too pink looking, you can also add back in brighter pops of red to your starfish. Once your mid-tones are done, if you want to make the painting pop even more, you can mix up a really dark value by combining your red, blue, and brown. Use this dark reddish brown color to add a final layer of shadow tones to your starfish. Be consistent with your shadow placements so that the viewer has a good sense of the light source in your painting. I'm making sure all of my shadow colors are on the underside of each bump and on the bottom curve of the starfish. Now with the addition of this really dark color, the starfish almost pops off the paper. Another fun addition is to paint a shadow. For the shadow beneath the starfish, I mix up some turquoise blue with just a little hint of burnt sienna mixed in to slightly neutralize the blue. I paint this under the bottom arc and below each of the rays that extend on the left and right sides. The final detail is to add those white highlights to the bumps on the starfish. This is where I use my white gouache. Mix in only enough water so that your paint is a creamy consistency then paint as many highlights as you want. 
So there is the completed starfish painting. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below. This really helps my channel grow so I can continue to bring you free content like this. Check out these other watercolor tutorials for beginners and I'll see you in the next video.